Radical Dude, never ending Radical Dude, never ending Radical Dude, here comes nerds of the round, nerd power, we're some friends, both fearsome writing team, we're really hipsters, we cover TV games and what's on the silver screen, don't forget comic books, and when the evil retina attacks, those nerdy boys don't cut it no slack, I hate you, never ending Radical Dude, never ending Radical Dude, A radical dude. And Jared bleeds and Daniel does machine. We got a camera in your room. Dan's cool, but Mark is rude. Give me a break. Mad Delight is a party dude. Never ending radical dude. Never ending radical dude. Never ending radical dude. Here comes nerds on the ground. Nerd power. Clear your internet history. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Nerds of the Round, brought to you by NeverEndingRadicalDude.com. Today we'll be talking all things DC Comics, DC TV. Jason's not really here yet, so I guess we'll get started without... Oh, hey. Oh, oh hey. Oh, hey. Did you, you know? start already? I uh, just started, yeah. Cool. Um, right on. Did you tell him what we're doing the episode about? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Cool. Yeah. All things DC TV. Awesome. Arrow, Flash, Gotham, Constantine. A lot of trailers out. Fall TV season is almost here. We're going to get started. We're going to talk about what we think so far. So, uh, what's up, Hans Lavin? What's up is, I found these all on the street for free. Oh. Check it out. Dog water bowl. Done. Apple, applesauce bowl. Done. Yeah. Um, little bowls fit in this bowl. <laughs> okay. Done. Bowl bowl. But Got this it. is a salad bowl. It's bigger. Yeah, no, totally. But this is for salad. Hey, can't beat free. Yeah, man. Yeah, I can. Ready to talk DC? Let's do it. All right. Thanks, man. Hey, yeah. Um, oh, just go over. There, you know, something like that. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey. Here to talk about DC on TV. DC next fall is going to be dominating television. It's going to be pretty amazing. Pretty intense. I think we should start with. The CW's Arrow. The show that started it all. Well, started this new version of DC TV. It's like saying the Avengers started it all. It's or, just, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, was... an, it's a new momentum. It's going to be pretty good. So, yeah. what did you think of Arrow? Season one, season two, done. Oh, I mean, I've always been talking up how much I like Arrow. I mean, in season two, just really stepped up a little bit. They brought, they made things a little tighter, got rid of what didn't work, brought in what worked. Loved it. And season three, I'm really pumped for it. Yeah, Arrow is must-see TV. It's hard to convince people to go watch it, but it is quality. Usually around episode six of season one, you are hooked. That's what I always say. Yeah, and I'd say it's for people that are a fan of the superhero genre, not necessarily Arrow. I don't yeah. really care about Arrow as a character in the comic books no. that much. I mean, it does have a little bit of the uh, cheesy, like romantic CW flair, but it's got a lot of great action scenes. It's taking uh, the content really serious. Really recommend it. If you're not watching it, you really need to get into it. Yeah. Short, dirty, and sweet. Arrow, Ooh, go watch my it. My three favorite things. Go watch it. Watch it. Arrow, the only reason those two watch that show is for all the shirtless push-up montages. Dude, if that guy mumbles one more passive-aggressive comment our way, I'm going to invite him over here to just talk. You, you should. He's got a lot to say. I'm going to make him say it. Yeah, great. <laughs> just invite him. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well, uh, moving on to CW's Flash. Yes, which is a spinoff of Arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they introduced the Flash in the last season of Arrow, and I think it was really successful. I think it was a cool, yeah. likable character. Fits into the same universe. They're, I'm, I'm now excited. they're building a wider universe with two different shows, which is crazy because Arrow has always kind of been based a little bit in reality, and now Flash is just bringing it up into the whole superpower, supernatural, crazy genre world. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's really smart that they're going to tie the universes together. I think it's really yeah. smart that DC is putting their, these big characters in TV. I think it's a better battleground for comic book related shows. Yes, you can give them a little bit more time to get the stories out, you don't have to kind of condense an origin story into like the first 10 minutes of a movie. Right. Um, give, yeah, treat them with respect. Yeah, it's fun. So, 
There was the extended trailer. I don't know. You didn't watch it. Yeah, there was a five and a half minute trailer, which actually yeah. spoiled an awful lot about. It did. Yeah. I feel like I know how season one is going to end because and, of that. Yeah, not just spoiling the pilot, but seemingly spoiling like the whole story arc. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. I decided not to watch it because I want it to be fresh. I know I'm going to put 22 hours into this show, yeah. so I just want to go to it fresh and just enjoy it because yeah. it, it looks cool. If it's anything like Arrow, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, and now they're actually premiering on the 7th and 8th, I think. Arrow, Arrow is yeah. on the 8th, Flash is on the 7th. Correct. Back to back, nightly DC fun times. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing those two characters interact every once in a while. There, I'm yeah. sure there'll be story arcs where they have to help each other out in their respective show. Well, I think Arrow is actually going to make an appearance on the first episode of Flash. Which is pretty cool. Just instant validation. <laughs> there it is. Everything you want right there. You got Arrow jumping off of rooftops. You got Flash running through zipping zaggy do traffic. Oh yeah. It's going to be good. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for Flash. Yeah, hey. Who isn't ready for a good Flash? Great. Just what we need. Another Quicksilver. Alright, dude. Come on over. Just come. You're going to talk. You're going to talk. Get over here. Yeah. Be a part of the conversation. Be a part of the Please. solution, not the yeah. problem. Just, yeah. yeah, just step yes. right in. Yeah. Yeah. No, sure. get in. Yeah. Come there, on. There you go. Oh, yeah. Fine. Good. It's not the best choice, but we'll take it. So moving on. Let's talk about the chances of Arrow and Flash from the CW shows showing up in the new movie Batman versus Superman. Uh, v. V. Superman. Batman v. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Which is not so subtly hinting towards a Justice League movie. Right. Which now either will have Arrow or Flash in it. I think they should be in it. It's just a matter of are they going to use these characters that are already established in TV. That, to me, that's how DC can win this game between Marvel. Yes. If they can get a solid TV crew mixed with the movie crew, yeah. it's going to be spot on. Hint towards Arrow in the movies. Hint towards the movies in Arrow. I think it's worked out. I think it worked out. I don't yeah. think it's going to happen. Has anything on Twitter or anything said? People have guys? said. I think uh, Steve Amell has said he will not be in the Justice League movies. Who plays Arrow? Um, Arrow. Arrow. Yeah. And he's awesome. I would he's love great. to see him in those movies. Oh, I would just love to see him in those so movies So he said well. no. He said yeah. no. Yeah. No. Eh, he got paid to say that. Yeah. Gotham. Gotham. Speaking of Batman v Superman. Yeah. Gotham. Are you excited for Gotham? I'm excited. I am kind of sad that we have two TV shows that are going to be connecting on one channel, and then now on another station we have a TV show that's completely separate. Um, yeah, I'm, i got to say, I'm not that excited about Gotham. I think it's a, an extended origin, which I'm not interested in. No. We've already seen Batman's origin. Who wants to see Batman before he becomes Batman? Right. Who wants to see the villains cool. before they become the villains? Yeah. You I want mean, to actually see them at their prime doing what they do. We got Commissioner Gordon, we got Bruce Wayne, we got Penguin, Catwoman, Riddler, Poison Ivy. That's just uh, yeah, all these is people. Now Ivy Pepper. And they're all There's bouncing people. around in this world, and it's just all. And like they're slowly building up to the point where they become awesome. And but Bruce not Wayne, quite getting there yet. Bruce Wayne's a child, too. Yeah. He's just like a small child. Yeah, his parents die in the first episode. Spoiler. Oh, sorry. If you Nobody know. knew that. Oh, oof, sorry, guys. Let's spend 22 episodes talking about it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm not that excited about Gotham. It's yeah. going to be airing on Fox, different mm -hmm. network, like you said. Yeah. Season one starting this fall. We'll see. Constantine. Constantine. Another DC show. DC's fourth show coming out this fall. That's Separate station, NBC. Crazy. NBC. We've got NBC, Fox, two shows on CW. Yeah. What do you think about Constantine? Well, I mean, I like... I love the character. I've read the, all the Hellblazer comics. Um, I'm sad that he won't be smoking. I'm sad that he won't be cursing. Can he, can he do an e-cig? <laughs> right? Constantine Go with a little blue e-cig yeah. going on? I don't know. But yeah, it's funny. You can have him murder. You can have demons. You can have hell coming to earth, but you can't have him smoking. Right. Whatever. That's nothing. Yeah. Cares. But they are hinting towards uh, more DC characters showing up in that, like Dr. Faith. Swamp maybe, Thing. Maybe Swamp Thing. See, maybe I never Zaytana. read the comics. I did read Swamp Thing, which is where Constantine was originated. Alan yeah. Moore's Swamp Thing. Yeah. He's cool. I think the show looks funny. I think it looks badass. I think it's got cool demons, classic look to it. I like the guy's costume. I like his attitude in the trailer. Hellblazer fans will be happy. They just won't be happy knowing that's the Constantine they want. Did you see Keanu Reeves' Constantine? I saw that. The movie? It was, it was good. I enjoyed it. Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. It wasn't Constantine per se, but it wasn't okay. Hellblazer. Yeah, yeah. I t I would agree. I think it's a guilty pleasure. A lot of people like to rag on it. I think yeah. it's a yeah. sweet, yeah. fun movie. Yeah. So. so, what about you? I mean, anything? Oh, you got a lot Mr. to say, Mr. Malfi. It's just. Do you realize that during this whole conversation, you haven't said a single word? Well, but, but, okay. I, what do you think? Got it. Kind of, yeah, oh, kind of, kind of get to us. Uh, Come again? Uh, yeah. Um, clown feet? Cl oh, clown feet. 
No, that's, I don't know. I'm just trying to think, you know. No. Now, Enema, what? Um, yeah, I think he's done. What do you think? I don't think, yeah. Just go yeah, you can go back. You can go to mumble, table. mumble. Mumble, jumble. Yeah. You're going to kick me out of the nerds of the round. Like, I give a care. You guys would be lucky to get more views than Birds of Prey, the television series. All right, so that's it. Yeah, um, we'll be writing some stuff about it. Check, check out the uh, Never Ending Radical News site. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, DC TV. October. Let's do this. October. Yeah, October. October. Oh, are we leaving? Oh, October. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You know, out of all those shows, I'm most looking forward to The Flash. Really? Why? Yeah. Well, I didn't want to say anything because we were in public but I kind of gained his powers. No, you didn't. Over the weekend, I was messing around with a, a tornado and I gained these awesome abilities. That's crazy. Can I show you? Yeah, man, I'd love to. All right, let's watch this. Watch this. This is going to be awesome. Okay. All right, I'm watching.